A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitan Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem One email that keeps coming on the subject of reptilian jinn. We'll go at first with that one because then they can make that the headliner for Mahdi's videos. <laughs> so <laughs> this subject of reptilian jinn. And the Western people because they have absolutely no understanding of the jinn then they, they talk about these creatures who are called reptilian and that this reptilian they <clears throat> occupy many of high society's people. They run and govern many organizations and then the ones who want to critique it they make fun of it and say, oh look. These people say like they're like lizard people, they're going around and they're overtaking the human person and becoming lizard people. No, it has nothing to do with that at all. This is a breed and a category of the jinn whom are unseen and that when they manifest and they manifest in the, in the nature and in the character in which Allah gave to them of a reptilian form that they are green, they look like lizards. And they have a different shaykh and different shapes and they have a dirty nature, violent nature and that their food are the flesh and bones of mankind. That these creatures are of a subtle nature and they don't need to occupy somebody in a physical realm because they're not physical. They occupy humans by possession, they possess the human being. And once they enter into the human facility or, or the human being they take overtake all of their faculties of that insan. They see through their eyes, they talk through their lips, they move through their hands and the appetite and the desires that they have overtake that human being and that human begins to no longer eat like insan. So means that these are a category of possession, these are a category of the jinn nations and it's very easy for them to overtake this dunya. So when people don't understand that how, how do they have the ruling class? Well because they operate under a different set of rules. That imagine somebody with hundreds of millions of dollars and one of these jinn say, I, I want to take over that person's life. They merely enter into them and they overtake that individual and now they operate and own everything that individual owned. Whatever corporation he had, whatever home, whatever house, whatever that individual owns that jinn now owns it, runs it and occupies it. As a result of that then imagine how much shaitan is running everything. Because he has all of those running those big corporations. So we said before this dunya is filled with maqams and stations. These are stations and rewards from Satan, not from Allah So that to be in a corporation, to be given a certain corporation, to be given a corporation of a certain size that is a maqam from shaitan. And to have access to that corporation means that shaitan has given that individual that maqam. What they've done for him and what they do for him Allah only knows what type of nefarious activities are involved with these people. Even they begin to look not human anymore. Look when they started their work until now how they're at the peak of their, their even their shaykh and their form has changed. Many of their forms the human person whom they've occupied because the jinn are of electrical nature that these people look like they've had electrolysis because of the energy that are around the jinn when they attach themselves to these people they even lose their hair, no eyebrows, their body hair, arm hair, leg hairs. Because the jinn have occupied so much around them and the energy and electricity of that being it's like the person has had electrolysis which is the same understanding. They apply electrical current to the hair follicle and it falls out. 
So means this is a, a, a reality of how shaitan governs all these corporations, all this money, all this banking, all of these maqams and he holds those as a means in which to entice people to come to his way. They say, oh you want to sing do you? Okay, well you give yourself to this master. And as a result they'll receive a phone call from these big record labels and big companies, why? Because they're all of these reptilians and shayateen and they're all holding these maqams and said, the big boss said that you're going to be signed up, here's a call you come in and this is what you'll beget. And he pays them according to how much they're going to destroy humanity. That's why you see their concerts with 10,000, 50,000 and that's why you see them getting tens of millions of dollars because of how much they can destroy humanity and how quickly they're destroying them. And that's what Allah is describing that in this view of eternity and in this 70, 80, 90 years of life you sold your soul for a small price. And that's the, the reality of this dunya and that's the reality of how they control these maqams and these, these companies and these organizations. That's how they move their wealth and their money around and they don't die for 2000 years. I think they asked one of these electric car owners and he said that he was a 3000 year old vampire and then said, <laughs> I'm just joking but he wasn't joking. So the, the, this, this is how shaitan operates the dunya and alhamdulillah Allah doesn't allow awliya to do that because they could enter into people and overtake them too but the different rules right now. InshaAllah with the sword of Sayyidina Mahdi salam that these devils be brought down inshaAllah. <laughs> InshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.